Hello, and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So, our material finally came for the, for the uh, paying job that I've been talking about for the planer. And the customer measured it up. It's, it's max length of 7 foot 8 inches. So, I've got my two pieces 7 foot 8 inches, and I've got the rest that will mill as well. Um, and we're just beveling it on two sides. It's a wear rail that gets welded into a, a fixture. Um, and I do these every couple of years. Uh, this one is because of a, um, a failure and some damage to the equipment. So they needed to replace these. So with that, I've got, took the press brake die, the one we're milling, out. And I'll put a link to the video here. Um, and it's sitting here all roughed out, ready to go back in the, in the planer once we're done with this job. So let's get this set up and start milling. So we have the first one milled out here. This is, um, there's, there's four pieces. There's two long ones and the two short ones. Um, so we're on the last one. I got that edge milled out. Now I'm set up to, to mill this surface. Um, now before you guys beat me up, let me explain why I did this this way. Generally, you would want to do your big surface, and then because you're taking this this surface down that you would use your your regular end mill on, you would do this one second. Problem is, is and maybe you guys know this when you get into longer pieces, the stuff starts to warp, um, makes it difficult to get it clamped down. Now. If I milled this surface fast, I would really be fighting with it to get it clamped back in to do this surface. Doing this surface, it's minimal bow to start with. So, and that's what I've got going right now is when I take these off, there's, it's about a quarter inch of bow total. So once, once I get these, the long ones milled and, and uh, go to take them off, I'll show you how bad they really get. Uh, but they, they turn into Menard's lumber. So anybody who lives in the Midwest knows what I'm talking about. 
Anyway, let's uh, get set up and let's start milling the first one here.
So there it is, seven foot eight inches long. And uh, my reference to earlier about Menard's lumber, how these things are really bow when you mill them, watch this. That's just relieving the pressure, taking the tooling off. That's how much it bows. There's got to be almost an inch and a half under the center there. So that's what it is. That's what you get. Ugh. I'm getting old. So until next time, like us on Facebook at Copper Machine LLC. Visit our website, www.coppermachine.com, and like, subscribe, and share. Spread the word. Show, show, let's see, make everybody see what we're doing here. We're doing some pretty cool stuff, so uh, share away. And uh, just uh, get out in your shop, get it done right the first time. <laughs>